everyone. Today we're reading another book on Epic, and this book is called My Life as a Native American. The caption of this book says, learn what Native Americans hunted, what they wore, and where they lived, as well as what their tribal dances were like. And this is by Anne Motsky. My Life as a Native American. I am a Native American. My great-grandparents lived on the Great Plains. Let me tell you about them. They lived in family groups, young and old, in one or many communities that formed a tribe. The tribes lived on the Great Plains to follow the buffalo. Doesn't this sound familiar? I think we've learned about this a little bit. Native American fact. There were many tribes of Native Americans living in North America. My family is Lakota. My great-grandparents' home was a teepee. Native American fact. The covering of a teepee is made from cured buffalo skins that let light in, but is waterproof, keeping out wind, rain, ice, and snow. They moved to follow the buffalo, packing their teepee and belongings on a travoy. We've talked about travoy. Here's a picture of one. Native American fact. The Arapaho, Blackfoot, Cheyenne, Crow, and Lakota tribes moved about the Great Plains following the buffalo. The men of my tribe hunted the buffalo. And the Native American fact is that buffalo provided food as well as clothes and shelter. Remember that no part of this buffalo was wasted. Before the hunt, the men in some tribes performed the buffalo dance. Wearing buffalo masks, the men dance while others sing to attract the buffalo in hope of a great hunt. Pemmican is one of many dishes made from the buffalo. These are pieces of the buffalo that are being hung up to dry. Native American fact, wild cherries, sun-dried buffalo meat, and melted fat are pounded together to make a nutritious traveling food called pemmican. Pemmican is a traditional food still eaten today. Some people still eat it today. Just like we talked about before, when family members pass down stories or recipes or different traditions, people today can still do those things. So the woman who wrote this book is saying that her grandparents paid, made pemmican. But if her grandparents taught her parents who taught her, she would still be able to make it now. Their clothing was made of buckskin from deer. In the winter, they wore heavy robes made from buffalo hides. Native American fact. Clothing was decorated with earth paints, feathers, horsehair, elk teeth, and flattened dyed porcupine quills. So you can see how many different decorations are on the clothing in this picture. And this is a woman today. In the winter, they liked to sled. Native American fact, sleds were made from the ribs of buffalo tied together with rawhide. A buffalo hide was used to sit upon. The Lakota word for a sled is hohozakuna. Oops, let me say that again. Hohukazunta. There we go. Got to make sure I pronounce the word right if I'm saying it. A thick, heavy buffalo hide kept people warm while sledding. Just like you would have to bundle up if you go sledding outside. You don't want to act, you don't want to get too cold and have your fingers feel cold or your body. This is a picture of the sled. We are a proud people carrying on the traditions of our great grandparents. Now, if I move my video, it says drums, dance, and native clothing are part of our culture. So you can see a drum here. We've learned about the drums. You can see all of the people dancing in this picture and the clothing. It's a part of your culture. Just like what we wear and eat is a part of our culture. Here's our picture glossary. We talked about the Great Plains. We've already learned about there. We've talked about hunted, which is to chase on foot or on horse wild animals for food. Performed is to give a show in public. A teepee is a Lakota name for a cone-shaped home made from buffalo skin stitched together and stretched around many long poles. Travoy is two teepee poles lashed together with a strip of rawhide to form a V-shaped frame pulled by a horse or dog for moving belongings, and then tribe, people living together who share the same background, customs, language, and laws.
guess what? When we finish up this book, we actually got to click finish this book. <laughs> Great job, kindergarten. Remember to click on the exit ticket below and get ready to talk about this book with Mr. Malcolm.